To answer the question, what is amber, we will focus on the Baltic coast and Baltic amber. This is the Baltic sea coast, where people today and over the centuries have found amber washed up on the shore. This amber came from ancient trees that were buried by the encroaching sands. The sea is to the right. The sands come in and bury the ancient trees with their sap. The sap on those trees became petrified. This petrified sap is amber. It's a resin. Today, amber is dredged from the land under these trees. This is another view of the Baltic coast with the encroaching sand dunes, which in fact not only cover trees, there's a town under that sand dune. But in any case, it's a sap. And that sap, when polished, is absolutely beautiful. Sometimes that sap entrapped insects, and that's called an amber inclusion. This is what amber looks like when it is made into necklaces. I'll cover this in much more detail later in the videos. But these necklaces were very important over the years in Europe, just as they are today. With a better view, this is typical of the necklaces that royalty gave to the church, highly prized. Being very important, both as a jewel and because of its medical powers, amber was controlled. The common people would be put to death if they were found to possess amber. The head of the Amber Road was in Malbork, a castle just south of Gdansk. The Amber Road is the name of the trade route that transported amber down through Poland to southern Europe and around the world, including the Far East. Malbork lies on the Wisła River, but the Wisła flows north, so product couldn't be shipped easily south. It was transported overland down the Amber Road. This is a piece of the Amber Road that exists today. It's in Zakrocie, Poland, and it is a place that also had a control point where the amber was monitored as it came south. And the monitoring was intense. As you go south on the Amber Road, this is what you look up to. A church, a very famous church, church in Zakrocie. See one of our other videos for more. But this is typical of what amber went through as it went south. This is natural Baltic amber. That's what it looks like. And this is another piece, petrified tree sap. Raw amber, it looks like raw amber. It floats, it stones. These are amber chips, pieces broken up. And this is a natural raw amber bead as made in days gone by. But today, this is what amber looks like when it's made up. You have raw amber, you have tumbled amber, process amber, it's made into bracelets, it's made into necklaces, bathing, baby teething necklaces, all shapes and forms. But every bit of this is nothing but tree sap many millions of years old, over 250 million years, typically. A Dominican monk named Albert the Great, who was born in the year 1193, called amber succinium and said it was the most effective of the leading medicines of its time. It was considered effective against everything from stomach aches to rheumatism. During the Middle Ages, amber became more important. An amber smoke, both aromatic and irritating, was used for fumigation. A Prussian priest, Madhaus Pretorius, recorded in the year 1680 that, quote, during the plague, not a single amber man from Gdansk 
Clypedia, Königsberg, or Lipaya died of the disease. Close quote. This petrified tree sap from ancient trees that grew in northern Europe that now is defined by the Baltic Sea coast, once called succinium by the ancients who understood its medicinal powers, and now called amber, is unique in the world. Natural Baltic amber contains up to 8% of succinium or amber acid. It is highly prized in Europe for its medicinal properties. If you are going to buy amber with the idea of using it for medicinal cures and for beauty, the Baltic amber is the unique amber. It's in demand all over the world. Even Chinese herbalists order it. Rather than using the cheap amber, they use the Baltic amber because of its high succinic acid content. This is a unique, unique amber. There's nothing like it in the world. So we hope that you consider Baltic amber because we consider it, as many do and many have for centuries, as unique and the best. See our other videos on amber. I do hope that this has helped. Have a good day.